y equal mx plus b. So m is the gradient. b is the y-intercept. So if you look at the equation here, it tells you the gradient and it tells you the y-intercept. That's why we call gradient intercept form. So if you look at this graph here, the y-intercept is here, b. And this of course is the x-intercept. But we just need to focus on um, gradient and y-intercept in um, intercept on this uh, lesson here to then we're going to use gradient and y-intercept to graph a straight line. So y equal 2x minus 3. Now to write down the gradient and y-intercept, first of all, you need to know that we have to write in this form first. Because this form will tell you the gradient and tell you the y-intercept. Because it's already in that form, so the y-intercept is the coefficient of x, which is m, so which is gradient is 2. And the constant, which is b, in here. So therefore, b is minus 3, so therefore the gradient is negative 3. So just remember, write in that form, and then just compare. And then to graph this, so first of all, because this y-intercept is minus 3, so therefore you start minus 3 first of all. And what happened? Gradient is 2, which is positive, so therefore we start minus 3, we're going up. If it's negative, we've gone down. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, in this case, gradient is positive 2, which is 2, it's just like 2 of 1. So the gradient, remember, is rise over run. So therefore, you start minus 3 and positive, that means you go up 2, 1, 2. And then go to the left, one, you, um, go to the right, sorry, to the positive direction, so which is right, 1 unit. So always go to the right. If it's negative gradient, you go down. Positive, you go up. It's always go to the right um, hand side, okay? To, to um, the run, it's always go to the right. So that's what you get. See, same here. I start from this point again. Look, it go up one, two, and then across one. One, two, across one, see? That's a pattern. Then you got uh, lots of points here, and just use ruler, connect together. So it will give you the, um, the straight line. So with ruler, connect together, give you a straight line. So please remember, so you start at y intercept, which is minus 3. Then because it's um, gradient is positive 2, whole number, you just go 1, 2, across 1. 1, 2, across 1. 1, 2, across 1. And just connect together. That's that will uh, give you a straight line. This question here, y equal to uh, 4 minus 3x. So the gradient in front of x, coefficient in front of x, in front of x is minus 3, so your gradient is minus 3. Y intercept is 4 because it's constant. Otherwise, you can just rearrange it exactly the same as that form because it's 4 minus 3x is exactly the same as minus 3x plus 4. So therefore, you can clearly see the gradient is minus 3 and the y-intercept is, is 4. Now, remember to plot that in a number plan. So what I do, I start with 4, which is here. And then, because it's minus 3, so I start with y-intercept um, 4, I go down 1, 2, 3. Now, because the whole number, I cross 1 unit. See, I even need a couple more points. I normally put, uh, plot um, three or more points easier to graph because if two, it might not be accurate. You might miss out when you extend the line. So which is, I can just go one, two, and then um, three, and then across one. One, two, three, sorry, and across one. So you get this, see? All you need is, like three point, is things should be enough, but you know, if you can, just plot them in and then um, just draw a straight line and you should get, connect, you should get a line like this. So that's how you do it. Start with one to set and my four and then go down three unit. So you go one, two, three, 
and then um, you go across one because the whole number otherwise write like this minus 3 is 3 over 1 see so remember rise and then run so you start you start 4 and then you go down 1 2 3 across 1 and then you go to go down 1 2 3 across 1 so keep that in mind y equal to 3 over 2x so that means first of all you know that it's already in this form except b so it's, it's 0 in this case because 3 over 2x is same as 3 over 2x plus 0 so you can see that the gradient of this is 3 over 2 and the y intercept of this is 0 so what happened is I start with y intercept always so y intercept is 0 so it's here and what happened m is positive so which is rise over run so the rise is 3 now because it's positive I start from here 1 to set I go up 3 1 2 3 positive and then run is 2 across 2 1 2 see across 1 2 3 up 2 because I run a space so I just I can't go up any further but that's okay you can see the the, the pattern look see 1 2 3 vertical horizontal is 2 1 2 3 horizontal is 2 if you like you can do one more point like this and then you just connect together so if you connect together you should get a line like this now last question here to do this okay you can see x 2x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0 and it's not in this form so we must somehow make that into that form the um, so that we can um, identify the gradient and we can um, write down the y intercept and then we can use this uh, gradient y intercept and to draw the straight line so first of all we rearrange this so the 2x you move on this side and then the minus 8 move on this side as well so that become you know 4y equals something so what what we're gonna do okay I move the 2x first so on that side so 4y and then of course I just leave like that first so the 2x move on this side become minus 2x and then the 8 I move on this side minus 8 sorry and then move over become plus 8 so now I divide this by 4 I divide this by 4 I divide this by 4 so y is equal to 2 over 4 is a half so that means negative a half of x plus there you go okay so plus 2 so now you can see the gradient of this is negative a half and the y, y intercept is 2 okay so I just I just rearrange that into gradient y intercept form gradient intercept form rather so it tell you the gradient and one to set so that's a step number one then you write down the gradient which is negative half and then um, what happened is the um, one to set is two so that's how you identify first of all rearrange my y as a subject if it not uh, if the, um, it's not a y as a subject you make y subject and then you can just compare so that's what you get now to plot this this um this straight line so what i do i start one to set always one to set to two so i start two here and what happened the gradient is negative so i start at two i go down then i go to the right so because at the moment is negative a half so which means you go down one unit and then you cross two because it's over two so otherwise write it down so negative um, one and a half so which is equal to rise over run see because minus you go down rise is one vertical is one so you go down one you go across two unit see now I do a couple more go down one across two unit and then um, I go down one across two unit here see 
if I put these dots together now and I just clear this first then um, you can see it's a straight line very simple so just follow this process thank you so much for watching my video